DJI, like, DJI. Look, holla at a player if y'all need some help. Like, Sky Money got your back. Cause look, man, I don't know about this one. She tired? <laughs> Doing some tummy time. So it is almost 8 o'clock p.m. And I legit had to step out because I saw some pictures on Twitter. They're actually some leaks. And if I'm being real, they are old leaks. I mean, apparently these pictures have been out for a hot minute. But yeah, I saw these pictures of the DJI Pocket 3 that represent what the Pocket 3 is supposed to look like when it comes out in November. And look, I'm not gonna lie, man. It made me feel a little nervous. Now, since it is pretty late on a Sunday, oh man, I just, man, I, I had to tell y'all about these leaks. All right, now before we get into these leaks, I do have to give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor. And that is Big Pimpin' Paul Kane. Thank you so much for sponsoring the coffee. <laughs> and if you want to buy me a coffee, Pippin, don't be shy. The link is down below. And if not, you already know we cool. We cool. I ain't a hater, and my hood never let me be a hater. But seriously though, DJ, DJ, hi. Put, pull up a chair, Pippin. Pull up a chair. Because man, are y'all, are y'all sure y'all know what y'all doing? <laughs> so look, I am a huge, huge DJI fan. Look, look, look. I always have been, and it's pretty safe to say that I'm always gonna be one. But look, I would be lying if I didn't say that I'm a little nervous about this Pocket 3. And now one of the reasons that I'm actually like really nervous is that it's kind of a big year. Insta360 is just pumping out cameras like ski balls The iPhone 14 is like right around the corner. And then you're also getting the GoPro Hero 11 and they think about going hard in the paint. So I was posted up right here doing my thing, like you know how thugs do. And a guy totally like peeked out the window and just <laughs> like looked and then laughed. <laughs> but anyway, Pimpin', anyway, like although these cameras aren't direct competitors to the Pocket 2, they are gonna be compared a lot to these new cameras. <laughs> You know what, I think it is much better this way. So now this is the DJI Pocket 1. Shoots 4K60 and brings all the sauce when it comes to smooth foot. Like smoother than butt on your butt cheeks. And then over here you have the DJI Pocket 2. Again, shoots 4K60, but got a huge bump up in image quality with a bigger sensor. An amazing camera, an amazing vlogging camera. It only had one problem to me and that was the colors coming straight out of camera. Like you almost have to shoot in this center light. Which is weird because the Pocket 1, it's not like that. Pocket 1's image quality as well as the coloring yeah. straight out of camera is, it's amazing. The biggest problem with it though was it was way too tight on the face. Like you almost need that Insta360 long selfie stick just to vlog with this thing. And now let's switch gears to another camera, a modular camera like the DJI Action 2. And now I know that these are two completely different cameras. One is more of a point and shoot while the other is definitely an action camera. By pimping, I promise it's gonna make sense. And now the DJI Action 2 is actually not that bad. It shoots 4K 120. I believe it has the same sensor size as the DJI Pocket 2. It's on that magnetic game, boss. It has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, boss. And the colors and skin tone straight out of camera on this camera is actually really, really good. Double boss. And I'll take the DJI Action 2 and the DJI Pocket 2 and then basically combine them. And those were the design leaks that you're basically getting for the DJI Pocket 3. And see, that's where I got a problem. One is a point and shoot with a gimbal, a, a great point and shoot. And then the other is an action camera. And although they may have the same sensor size, I'm sorry, but the Pocket 2 still yeah. takes it. The image quality out of these Pocket cameras are better than a GoPro. They're basically better than all action cameras. I, you know what, I said it. I'm, I'm, I'm the man of the people. I say what you can't say. Uh-oh, the block is hot. 
But anyway, Pimmin, back to the DJI Pocket 3 and this design leak. Because if you look at the pictures, it literally looks like they took the Pocket 2, beefing it up a bit. I mean, which is fine, which is fine. I mean, who don't like it, Dick? <laughs> but yeah, they beefing up the Pocket camera itself and then adding the DJI Action too? Like, and I look pimping. If you rock with me, if you rock with me for a while, you will know I am not a hater. I seriously love these pocket cameras, but I don't know. I don't like the design. It don't. It don't look gang. Like that's not hot. Like I feel like they're just trying too hard. Like DJ, I pull up a chair, bro. Like come and talk to your boy Sky Money if y'all need some help. There's still time. We got four months before November. Cause I seriously don't know beefing the pocket camera up and then putting the action two on it on a gimbal. I don't. I don't see the point. Look, I'm Team DJI. We need one for the team. Like we need a good pocket three. Cause not for nothing, man, y'all slipped on the pocket two a little bit. Like it's all, like y'all forgot about it. The color science in that great. We have no updates in like years. And y'all already know that auto tracking is not hitting. And then to top it all off, you came out with a white pocket two that that's the same as the pocket, the original, like, what are y'all doing? DJI, all I'm saying is please don't make the Pocket 3 a gimbal for the DJI Action 2. Like, I just don't, I, I'm, I'm about to fall in this water. Look, I, <laughs> look, there is no point in doing, like, please, DJI, please, don't do this to me. Don't do this to the people. Like, we team DJI, baby. And I'll be the first to tell y'all, look, putting this on this, hey, that ain't gangsta. had my hopes so high for the Pocket 3. I, I, if they're just combining like a Pocket body with the DJI Action 2, um, oh man, that, that will kinda suck. Like I kinda see the appeal, but at the same time, I'm like, no, these are different cameras. And the Pocket series just always brought the sauce when it came to just base, like, good image quality. And I mean like something that just doesn't look like an action camera. Like even with the S360's one inch mod, the DJI Pocket 2 was hands down so much better than this whole S360 one inch mod. It looked better, like just everything was a lot better. Even though S360 brought out a full one inch mod, it just, it was not hidden. And the same thing goes for GoPro. I'm sorry, but the Pocket cameras have better image quality because they're more like point and shoot cameras and not action camera. Anyway, Pimpin, that is all I got. Huge shout out to today's coffee sponsors again. Thank you so much for the coffee. And if you want to buy me a coffee, Pimpin, don't be shy. The link is down below. And my ninjas, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need you guys to like them comments up. Let me know what you think about the new DJI Pocket 3's design or supposedly design. Like for real, do you think they could pull it off? If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and check out one of these videos right here. I will see you in the next one.